Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1, and it is Try Hard Thursday. Actually, Thursday this time. And, uh, well, I'm gonna go with my, my generic Thursday gods, I think. My my magical lady C's and my, uh, <clears throat> my, my on hers, my AMC's, whatever. Gonna do it all. But also that which is happening. I kind of want to go Tainted Seal this game. Listen closely. Which is weird because I never go Tainted Seal. I, I also kind of want to go Gilded Arrow. Okay, I have four. My, my auto attacks are 49 damage there and there's 69 damage. Here. Okay, I'm 1 million percent going Gilded Arrow here. I don't know why I stuttered when I said gilded arrow anyways i'm excited i'm excited i love i love these try hard videos i love playing them mainly because like not only am i actually like getting to play the game but i get to play the game the way i want to play it which might sound stupid because you're like oh sam you no one's forcing you to do anything else. No, I understand that. But like, at the same time, there's, as a content creator, it's about like pleasing your audience, right? Like I want to, I want to do what you guys want to see. And when you guys are like, yo, I just want to see you do what you want to do. I'm like, oh, no way, dude, let's go. <laughs> you have beats? Oh, you have Aegis. Okay. All right, fine by me. He went tainted steel. Gonna go do my blue buff now. He is gonna go do my blue buff actually. Okay, hello. Oh my God, dude. Did he do my blue that quickly? Perfectly. Did he actually do my blue in like three seconds and then get over to his blue buff in time for that? Your middle tower is under attack. That seems incredible. How did he do that? Oh no, he didn't do my blue. He acted like he was going to do my blue and then he didn't do my blue and then he ran over to his blue. Never mind, I understand now. At least I got one buff. One buff is enough for me, I think. No, I'm Kronos, so... Early game ain't my cup of tea. I'm cool with... Cool with waiting it out. Alright. You do, like, a whole butt-ton of damage to me. Quite frankly, kind of fucked up. I still feel like I do not hit you very hard. All right. Sick W key, bro. Sick W key, bro. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. I'm going to just hit the back. A privilege for the most prestigious of our order. It really is just his two doing so much right now. I mean, it's always his two. It's always Poseidon two that does too much. Oh, Crack my neck. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna do something? We're just gonna, gonna wait it out. Hold on on this. Is relatively. I mean, he will have Bancrofts, which does scare me a little. His damage. But also, like, I cleared the wave. Alright. 
You obviously care more about this. Thanks for the red buff. I'm never going to kill him because he has Bancrofts and I don't. Unless he keeps doing this weird shit that he's doing now. In which case, I'll take it. Right, that is good damage. Like, don't get me wrong, my my one when it hits hits hard as shit. Oh, 19 HP on that, dude. For real? 19 HP on that blue buff? That is so obnoxious. You gotta be kidding me. He's gonna turn around and crack me here. Fine. Time to ult it. I am down to alt it. And actually, just because of the fact that I have Gilded Arrow, I'm actually ahead of him. Not in terms of XP, but in terms of gold I am. Alright. So he clearly... He clearly, um... Lost that fight, which is great for me. He obviously wants to try to kill me here. All right. But you are so lucky I decided to auto instead of... Instead of just sending it. I wonder if he's trying to end it quick because he knows that he'll lose the game if he doesn't. I wonder if that's why he's playing so weird. It's like he's sitting here just trying to take my tower, hitting it as much as he can at low HP, doing seemingly nothing, honestly. But maybe it's because he feels pressure to end the game early. I mean, you can't blame him, can you? Fighting a Kronos. And then he runs while my two is active, and then he activates his two, and then runs back. It's going to be this whole cat and mouse game. Alright. Nice. Witness power, dark and terrible. As long as I'm consistently hitting these ones, he is not in any position to be okay. Dead? Oh, Aegis. Okay. Alright. Nice. Uh, can't keep up. Dead. Nice. Nice. Took a little bit of, uh, you know, sneakiness. A little bit of manipulation there, but ended up getting the kill. Took a little bit longer than expected, but it happened. No big deal. I'm gonna grab my Shoguns. Obviously, he's gonna grab his Shoguns. I'm gonna go Toxic Blade. He's probably also going to go Toxic Blade. It's not really like we're gonna have two different builds. Excuse me. It's not like we're gonna have two different complete builds. We're gonna be pretty similar. I mean, Poseidon is an auto attack character mainly, I feel like. At least in duel. Alright. Going to my blue. Or we're not gonna make it out of this one though, my guy. How are you gonna make it out of here? Okay, could you? Never mind. Oh, you're, you're spam laughing. I feel like spam laughing when you're half HP running away is not gonna work out for you. I could be wrong, but 
most of the time you're not gonna really like thrive while doing that it is hard for me to get um power damage in obviously he's Poseidon but all right I can go grab my toxic blade and even though I'm only one kill ahead I am 800 gold ahead I'm feeling pretty good he has beads and Aegis. I still do not have my second relic yet. I'm thinking it might be a horrific though. Uh, are you doing bold demon or something? Or are you just AFK? AFK. Alright, perfect. I am faster than him, right? I hold the secrets of life. What? Secrets you thought the life steal from the wave would keep you alive? You. <laughs> maybe that's what he thought. Or maybe he knew he was dead anyways and he just wanted to try to get damage on tower. Or uh, on minion wave. Could be either one, honestly. Alright. And this is why what he was doing early game didn't matter at all. You know, like, risking your life to do extra two or three auto attacks on my tower is completely irrelevant when I do this much damage. Nice. I already cleared this wave, so we're chilling in that regard. I do a lot more damage than he does. What do I want for my relic here? I kind of want a demonic, like some penetration. And I will go horrific here. Because I actually really like horrific. I know not having Aegis is a little bit scary. But he's auto attack based, right? He's not a uh, burst based, so... The main thing I need to worry about is not the damage of the Kraken, it's the knockup of the Kraken. And I can, I want to say, safely avoid it normally. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. I came out with the horrific and he didn't know what to do. I think that's why it's such a good relic in this situation because he doesn't have sprint. So, like, when you get horrific, all you can do, all you can do in that scenario is hope they fuck up. And that's, you know, at this level, it's pretty rare that they're just gonna, they're just gonna whiff, you know what I mean? So, it happens still, don't, don't get me wrong, it still happens, but it's, it's rare. Surprised you're not just immediately cracking off that three. All right, I'll alt it. I'll take care of the Kraken. And then kill this Phoenix. It's amazing how I don't even need my two active to win this auto trade. Oh, I could have sworn that would hit. I could have sworn that one would hit. Interesting. But yeah, with my demonic, I am just severely out damaging him. And I wonder if he's going demonic right now too. Probably could be. Uh, I'm gonna go divine. I'm gonna just finish off my anti-heal. I have 100% anti-heal now. And the only reason I'm doing this is not because I think Bancroft is like super, super OP lifesteal. 
divine is a great item by itself it's 110 power with a little bit of base pen and uh i just wanted an immediate power spike and lowering his lifesteal even just a little bit more is helpful i'll be honest you know it's, it's not like negligible so it's worth it um i do have horrific here so we'll see okay cracking I need to get I need to get his beads. Here we go. Now, next time he walks up to me, I horrific him and he dies. He's gonna run from this. There it is, boys. There it is. GG. Might as well alt this. I'm not too scared of really anything else happening, so. Beom, 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 beom. And that is game number one. A nice 15 minute game. Auto attack Poseidon versus auto attack Kronos. Not bad. And I think I, I actually like my item choice here. It's a little bit weird. Like if you saw this build, you'd be like, oh, that's, that's a little weird. But I have so much pen in my build that I am hitting him ridiculously hard without even having that much power. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, nice. I'll see you guys in game number two. What's up, boys? Welcome back. Game number two. Um, I'm going to be playing. I mean, soul is open, and I feel like I haven't hit up a soul game in a while. So I'm going to hit up a soul game. the whispers of the coming end. Hear the whispers of the coming end, huh? I don't know what that means, but, I, you know, I'm proud of you. Good job. Keep those whispers coming. Also, I want to shout out everybody that's been using my Nexus recently. I have a, um, <clears throat> a Nexus account where basically if you're on PC, you can buy gems and, you know, packs and whatever you want to buy. And uh, there's been a lot of people using it. So thank you guys. I appreciate that. Super awesome. You buy gems at your, uh, at your, at a normal price that you would normally pay for them. And... I get supported by it. So it's no extra cost to you and I get supported. It's awesome. And I haven't even shouted it out. So I don't know why people are, are using the store all of a sudden, but I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you guys. The eyes of the cosmos will all right. Here. Wukong versus Soul. Obviously, I have an advantage because I'm Soul. But, uh, you know, don't underestimate Wukong. Like that guy, Chunky Monkeys. Oh, it's Aiden. Fighting Aiden. Yeah. Nice little 100 damage points there. Alright. Um. Nice, I got it. I got red buff and I got mannequins. So he is in no way going to be able to keep up with me in terms of numby pumping here. I'm just going to keep... Keep annoying him, poking him out. He's more than likely going to go back right now. Oh, you're doing your blue. Don't mind if I already did. Thank you, friend. Nice. I'm going to grab that wave. Awesome sauce. Grab that wave, and then... Dude, I am just Omega farming right now. I'm doing amazing. By the way, the reason I went um, Mannequins instead of Gilded Arrow is because I only go Gilded Arrow against Mages. Because Mannequins has 10 physical protection on it, so it's just really good to start against any kind of physical character. Alright, I'm like really far ahead right now. My pressure is incredible. Oh, not enough to kill. Close. Close, but not enough. Um, I guess I should back. I mean, I don't really want to, to be honest with you. But I guess I should. Just because there's not really much for me right there. But I'm just going to go buy tier 2 Bancrofts and a Chalice. 
and hope that I, uh, one, get my money's worth out of the chalice, and two, didn't set myself back to uh, hit power spikes at the same time. I think I should be okay to hit power spikes at the same time, but we'll see. And 500 gold ahead, so. And again, Bancroft's is an expensive item. It is going to take a minute for me to really do much here. Because he can clear relatively well. I'm not saying like spectacular, but he can clear relatively well. And I don't really have the lifesteal to warrant me diving tower and getting the extra shots off right now. I just can't heal it up right now. So we're just both kind of in weird modes where I'm hitting the tower when I can. He's clearing the wave when he can. You do not scare at me at all. And I mean, that was insane damage on my part. I don't even think I hit him. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I don't even think I hit him with that many autos. But then I looked and it was seven of them. So <laughs> that's kind of a lot of autos now that I think about it. All right. Red buff is free. Because he didn't show up. I guess maybe he was seeing if he could wait for it. Oh. Wonder if he's going to go for that blue. Alright, he will hit his power spike here. So him hitting the power spike and me being really greedy for the blue might end up costing me something, but we'll see. Just damage him a little bit. Scare him away from his blue buff. That's the whole point of it. Just scare him away. It looks like he's still slightly scared away. Nice. And you're giving me my blue buff too. Wow. I really thought he would invade the blue. I thought he was giving up his blue to try to invade mine. But turns out, he's just not doing it. He did get a beat stick already. He could be doing bull demon. Like, his damage is good. He has a full beat stick. He could be doing bull demon, but I don't think it would matter much. Because I think bull demon only really matters if you can actually push off of that bull demon. And right now, if he did it, the only thing he would get off it is the XP and the gold of bull demon. Like, the buff itself is... Kind of irrelevant. Like, the regen is garbage. And the, uh... The fact that it turns my tower off doesn't really mean anything for him if he can't get to my tower. Because I'll be standing there. Like a gatekeeper. That didn't hit him, unfortunate. He does have defense now. I also have defense, so... I'm just staying, uh... Just staying one step ahead. Doing soul stuff. That did... 200 and... 70 damage or something. He's going to stun me under tower here and it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. I missed. Okay. Land on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not scared. I think he needs a lot more anti heal than beat stick. Since I'm soul with... Bancrofts, I'm just doing I'm doing too much healing right now. Alright, you're running. And I am maintaining all the pressure that I possibly can. No scenario. Um hmm. I'm not doing too much damage right now. I have a lot of gold in hand, though. I have 1,500 gold. I don't think I'll be able to push down anything here. But I probably should have just used that on the tower. Or on uh, the minion wave, I mean. He's going to be able to hit a power spike here. And I am probably going to have to give him his blue buff. It's going to be the first buff. It's going to be the first part of XP that he gets the entire game. That's from a buff camp. 
if I let him have it. So I kind of want to not let him have it. Oh, he got it. Damn it. Alright. Well played. Well played. I should have zoned him out longer. Like, there's nothing he could do to me. That, like, actually scares me, so. I should have just zoned him longer. I also don't even know if I want Breastplate. I feel like at this point, just getting more damage would be more helpful. Then again, I mean, the cooldown from Breastplate would be nice. I just feel like... You know, going Telkines or something like that would be better in the sense where I am opening up Bull Demon even more. So I think I will go Telkines. I don't know if this is the right play, honest to God, but uh, it feels like the right play. I'm going to go Horrific again. He's probably just going to go Sprint. Probably just gonna go sprint because he's gonna see the fact that I have horrific. But um Oh well. He's not always gonna have sprint. Horrific's on a shorter cooldown than sprint, so. Um more than likely he's just gonna go and stop me from doing this. Try to stop me from doing it. I don't know if he can. I don't know what his damage is like. But, uh, I'm gonna try my best to do this. We'll see how it goes. Oh man, you are getting absolutely chunked. Now that Exalt is down, I feel pretty comfortable pulling this again. No way he got that, bro. There's no way. My auto hit that before. Oh my. And he can just run through tower here, so. Yeah. Damn. I cannot believe he got that. I could have sworn I last hit that, man. Well, you know what? Whatever. If that's how it is, then that's how it is. Not much I can do about it. Red. Man, that sucks. I'm quite upset that he got that bull demon. Man, even with Telkines and Bancrofts, I'm not doing too much damage to him. Maybe I go Demonic next, man. I don't know. He's going Soul Eater. Maybe I'll just go Toxic Blade next. And I could. I didn't have my horrific up there. Carry on, my soul. I don't know if I should go toxic blade or if I should just go into demonic. Demonic would obviously give me more damage. But toxic blade, I think, is going to be more important currently because of the fact that he's got soul eater. And if I let that soul eater stack and then, you know, when he's clearing waves, he's just going to out sustain me because I have no anti heal. And if I build anti-heal, he'll still out-sustain me because um, he gets free wave clear. I mean, I do too, but like Soul Eater is more lifesteal than Bancroft is. 
for physical gods. I think I'm actually okay with these trades I'm taking under Phoenix. Because he doesn't have Soul Leader yet. Okay. Nice. GG. GG. Should be. Should be. Oh no, my damage is not as good as I thought. Not GG yet. But I mean, Phoenix being down is is a pretty big uh, help to me. I've just been working on that Phoenix for like, I want to say eight minutes. I was at that Phoenix line at like six or seven minutes and I just haven't been able to, to get it. And I'm going to keep up my damage and uh, go into Demonic instead of Breastplate. I only got Tier 2 Breastplate, and then I, I built three other items before finishing Breastplate. And I think the reason is because Soul Eater really doesn't give him too much power. That's more of a sustain item. So I wasn't too scared of his damage output. So I didn't feel like I needed... I didn't feel like I needed... Uh, more tankiness. This is all. Backing? Ah, uh, you were backing. Alright. GG, Aiden. Both of those kills happened in like literally a minute. We went we went 13 minutes with no kills, and then I killed him twice in the same minute and then win the game. Crazy. Games like that are so weird. But um Yeah, that's I mean that's game number two, I think. Only game number two. A lot to go, man. I'm at basically three thousand MMR. That's pretty insane. Um yeah, I'll see you guys in game number three. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number three, and this guy actually has higher MMR than me, which means he's 3,000 or higher MMR at the moment. His name is Sloot Gers. Is that, is that like, is that a slut thing? I don't understand. I don't know what that means. All I know is that, oh, don't build Frenzy. That's not what I want to build. I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this, this and this, and I'm going to spam my abilities in base. Get my passive up a little bit. Oh, I wish I didn't pick this skin. Those, that, the footsteps are going to drive me absolutely insane. Alright. I have six stacks of my passive, which I believe is 12% mitigation right now. I'm pretty tanky. he win this fight? I feel like he shouldn't. Turned on me and just 
shit all over me. All right. Did he get bread buff? Of course he did. It is honestly dumb that I asked that question, but whatever. But whatever. I have my ult now. That should be helpful. Neither of us have... Um... What is it? Neither of us have shell up. Which kind of sucks for me, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Got tier two transcendence and his whatever that's called, health chalice. All right, though. I shouldn't really fuck with him right now because he's got red buff and a lead. Like his auto hits me for sixty, which is pretty incredible. The issue is with him having this lead. What am I supposed to do, man? Okay. He should be dead here, I believe. Uh, I cannot keep up, dude. Jesus Christ, that movement speed. They're fucking with me. They're fucking with me. There's nothing I can do about that. That is pretty obnoxious. That actually stopped my back, huh? Dude, I am so annoyed right now. I'm actually so fucking annoyed. It's incredible. <sighs> okay. He's just like sitting there. Just sitting there doing nothing. But also doing so much. Please don't tell me he gets this. Nice. All right. All right. I cannot kill him. Oh, dude, I really thought he was going to get away. I honest, I really, really thought he was going to get away there. But thank God this item is broken beyond all belief. And I can just build it and all of a sudden win every fight. That is so important. He's upgrading his shell, actually. I think is weird, but... He's going to run away. I'm going to let him. I just want to get this blue buff here. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. Go all the way back. I want to go stone cutting again. I like, I really, really like the stone cutting build. The problem is I lose my tower really, really fast because AMC with Transcendence 
does that much damage. Is he leveling his two or not? I can't actually tell. No, he's certainly not. Must be leveling that. How much is this? 950 for stone cutting. I'm going to back right now then. And this fight should go amazing for me. I really hope it goes amazing for me. Uh, he'll, he's not level 12 yet, so I, I want to know what relic he's going to get. I assume it's going to be either a beads or a sprint. Whichever one it is. Um, if he gets beads, I'm just going to go thorns. I'm sorry, if he gets beads, I'm going to go horrific. If he gets sprint, I'm going to go thorns. I baited him with the shell. Baited him with the shell, baby. Paused. Berserker plus stone cutting. I am very tanky. Now I'm going to need some actual defense, probably like a mystical mail. And then my next item, or my next relic, like I said, is either going to be a horrific or, um,. You know what I could go, actually? I could just go Frostbound. It'd be better damage. All these Bruiser items are, are really insane. But... I'm thinking he, if I go Frostbound, obviously I'm just going to go... Uh, Thorns. I'm not going to go Sprint. Alright, I stood in his 3, which I should not have done, because that shit actually hurts. I do want an Aussie. I want some sort of life steal. All right, I got those. Over here. I wonder if he's doing Bull Demon or not. He is hard to keep up with. Alright. You hit him. There's his sprint. And there is his death. Alright, so he did go sprint. Which is kind of good for me because that means I can go thorns for free now. Um, like, I'll go Frostbound, obviously, but I can just go Thorns. I wanted to go Thorns, but, like, if he didn't build Sprint, then obviously I have to go Horrific. But, yeah, with Frostbound here, Frostbound into Thorns into Aussie. I don't, well, I don't know. He's going Toxic Blade here. Maybe I shouldn't go Aussie. We'll see. That, that might just be, turn into a Kins or something. Kins did get 100 gold cheaper, and it's still just as good as it was, so we'll see. Mm. All right. Running all the way back. My issue is, like, finishing Bull Demon or something will be very tough, because his abilities hit pretty hard. Uh, 
I don't know, but maybe I'm just allowed to do it. Who knows? All right. Massive kill. That kill gives me blue buff. And maybe bull demon? I don't know. Bull demon's a little bit of a risk because I'm not actually like... I don't do that much damage. I'm more just sustained damage. All right. But actually ends up being okay. Good for me. We'll grab tier two of this. I am not going to commit to a tier three item yet of it. I could get either. Um, actually, I could only get XE, which I don't think is worth. Your middle tower is under attack. Right, you get my blue buff. I really don't care. Okay. Got my tower too. Still really do not care. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Alright, so he did get Toxic Blade. I don't know if I want Aussie. I feel like I might just want to go Kins. How do I win here? Like, how do I, how do I finish this fight off? I'm going to grab Kins. I'm going to save the other gold I have so I can finish mannequins. And then, uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is probably like suicide tower or suicide, uh, Titan, like run in there. Pop my shell, pop my thorns, hit Titan with upgraded mannequins, which is going to burn Titan quite a bit. And, um, and then I'll have to do it once or twice more. I don't really see I'm ever going to be doing that while he's hitting me. Effectively, at least. All right, so we get a sprint here, obviously. See, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. I did a little bit of damage to it, but I used my thorns for it, and I just don't know if that's worth it. I don't know if that's worth it. Want to get 20. Gonna give me my mannequins. And now I will back again. Grab my mace. And uh, I'm gonna grab a 500 pot. Because this should hopefully be the last push. This should hopefully be the last push. With mannequins mace, I'm gonna be doing a lot of tick damage to that titan. And um, nothing that he's gotten so far screams... He's going to out damage me while I'm doing it. So I'm hoping it should be good. Like this should be about as fast as Titan dies because mannequins does this much to Titan. We'll re get Phoenix and then I'll just, I'll act like I'm trying to kill him and just go on Titan. I guess. Fuck it. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy.
All right, GG, dude. GG beat the AMC who had more MMR than me. So he was at 3,000 at least. And uh, that puts us at 3,040 MMR, I think, which is pretty great. And that's three really good Try Hard Thursday games. Three really good Try Hard Thursday games. I kind of want to see what place I am in the world right now. Not that it matters. I'm, oh, I'm number two. I'm number two in the world. Who was that guy? I don't know. Interesting. All right. Well, do again. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number four. And probably the last game of the video because all of these games have been really intense. I'm going to be fighting chicken, rice, and bean. <laughs> I like that, Dave, dude. Good, Dave. Good, Dave. Nice name. That's a, that's a name I can put a lot of respect behind. God, I, can't, I always buy Frenzy on accident, bro. Every time. He said thanks lol that's that's a that's that's a respect oh, he said i was hungry <laughs> same <laughs> i was hungry so he, he was hungry and he made his name chicken rice and bean hell of a respectful thing to do i i applaud that that's nice anyways he's a gm dueler apparently he had a gm uh border on for last year so i mean today's just been filled with a bunch of gm games like the first game um against the poseidon i don't think he's gm i think he's in masters maybe but that's it and then uh and then i fought aiden and then i fought that other guy who i don't know who he is but he had higher mmr than me so he was gm and he still is probably gm and now i'm fighting medusa who is very clearly gm he went blink that's a ballsy ass relic to start with. Nice. Uh, I don't actually think he wins this, does he? No, he does not. Let's go. That red buff, baby. That red buff, baby. absolutely smack dab amazing fight i saw he had blink so i knew i obviously had the the level three fight in the bag right like medusa's burst is incredible right nobody's gonna deny that but the fact that he doesn't have shell gives me like an extra 200 hp to work with over him so it's always going to be in my favor to take that fight and after i got red buff i mean hey come on it's over there's no way i lose that fight right it was close, don't get me wrong. It was still close, but ended up ended up doing what we had to do. Right, he got one buff and he's gonna get the XP camp, but I I'm gonna try to keep him zoned out here. Alright, that's really good for me. The reason that's really good for me is because he just lost the XP of all of those minions. He got the XP camp, but he lost the golden XP of that entire minion wave, which is massive for me. Now, I am scared to fight him at the moment. I don't have Berserkers yet, so I'm still weak McGee. Ow. That burst damage is incredible. But, you know, like I said, can't fight him yet. All I'm doing is trying to live. <laughs> right, for some reason, he seems scared of me. Ow. 
That too hurts. Nice. Thank God I was CC immune. Because if I was not CC immune during my ult, that was over. That was over. Oh yeah, boys. My red buff is spawning. I have Berserker Shield now, so I ain't scared of you. Or your banana hammock. Boom! Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, my damage is incredible now. Not even just my damage, but my survivability is incredible now. And then you pair that with how much damage Ama already does. Very hard to be scared. <laughs> Getting the XP camp. I really thought he was going to be doing his blue, but just went for the XP camp. I wonder if he's waiting for my blue. Was. All right, so I got both buffs there. He's a little bit scared. I can actually kill him here, I think. Nice. That auto attack I hit without even looking at him. That was <laughs> That was weird. That should not have happened the way it did, but it but it did. But it did. Another kill. And another uh another lead in my advantage here. I'm going stone cutting. Right now. He has a really good clear. I don't know if I need to be scared of him at all, actually. Because I'm really not. Is the problem. Well, it's a problem for him. It's great for me. Alright. I have enough for my stone cutting. I grab this. Pick this bad boy up. And then I think I just go do bull demon. Right? Like, I got stone cutting. I have berserker shield. My attack speed's good. My survivability's good. My damage is good. Now I just go do bull demon. My radiance covers this land. Screw it. Please finish before he gets here. Nice. Alright. I have my movement speed buff on. Okay. <laughs> Alright. He just gave up. I mean, he was down. He was down two kills, a bull demon, and then was getting chased by uh, Amaterasu with a speed buff on, right? Like, there's... And I built stone cutting, so I already have more movement speed than him in general. And I have the buff. Like, there's no way, right? That's gonna that's gonna call that, dude. GG again. I got 73 MMR. So he was actually really close in MMR. I'm 31 13 MMR. Which puts me number one in the world. I mean, it hasn't updated yet because my game just ended, but I am number one in the world right now. Interesting. Well, I guess documented progress from what? Like 2,800 to 3,100? <laughs> from, from normal GM to number one GM in the world? There you go. Makes for a good video. Hope you guys enjoyed the intense games today. There was some good ones. And uh, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.